Hey guys, it's Steven here. This video is about the best five index funds and ETFs for your Vanguard portfolio. Index funds or ETFs are a low cost, simple and efficient way to safely invest. If you're interested in seeing comparison between the best index funds and ETFs offered at Vanguard, Fidelity and Charles Schwab, I'll leave a link in the top right that may be helpful for you. Now, not everyone has the time or expertise to research individual stocks. So investing in index funds or ETFs gives you the benefit of strong performance, beating out 90% of actively managed funds, diversification essential to spreading the risk of your portfolio, and finally, tax efficiency, as index funds and ETFs tend to have significantly lower turnover than actively managed funds. At Vanguard, there are hundreds of index funds and ETFs available with no transaction fee, commission-free trades on index ETFs and most index mutual funds. Vanguard has been the original forerunner for index funds and ETFs, providing accessible low-cost funds for the majority of investors. Also, Vanguard is uniquely structured in that it is owned by its investors, much different than Fidelity which is a privately owned company by a wealthy family and Charles Schwab, a publicly traded company. Jack Bogle, the founder of the Vanguard Group, revolutionized the investing industry with the push for index funds and caused the companies such as Fidelity and Charles Schwab to create their own index funds. Let's dive right in with number one, a dividend king. If you're a fan of dividends, this is for you. The Vanguard High Yield Index Fund, Admiral Shares, VHYAX at expense ratio of 0.08% is also available as the Vanguard High Yield ETF. VYM with an expense ratio of 0.06% and a distribution yield of about 3.17%. When we look at the returns since its inception in 2006, it has generated around 7.7% returns per year and around 10% in the past 5 years. Investment style is categorized as large cap value and a risk potential of 4, meaning Vanguard classifies this fund as a moderate to aggressive holding, ideal for long term investors. Top 10 holdings include Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan Chase, Procter & Gamble, Bank of America, Intel, Verizon, Comcast, AT&T, Pfizer, and Walmart that make up about 24% of the total assets. Let's move on to number 2, the Vanguard 500 Index Fund, Admiral Shares, VFIAX with an expense ratio of 0.04%, which is also available as Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. VOO with expense ratio of 0.03%. The investment seeks to track the total return of the S&P 500 index. An index fund that tracks the S&P 500 is an absolute staple in any index fund portfolio. When we look at the returns since its inception in 2000, it has generated over 7% returns per year and over 17% in the past 5 years. While past performance does not guarantee future results, the historic return is above average, which is fantastic, and historic risk is low because you're investing in big name companies. So there will be fluctuation year to year, but it is an upward trend over time. Vanguard classifies this fund as a moderate to aggressive holding, ideal for long term investors. The investment style is categorized as large cap blend, meaning there are both value and growth stocks. Top 10 holdings include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan Chase, Johnson & Johnson, and Nvidia. You are getting exposure to all the big name companies that make up 75% to 80% of the total market. Speaking of total market, this leads us into number 3, a total market index fund. The Vanguard Total Stock Market Index VTSAX, with an expense ratio of 0.04% which is also available as the Vanguard Total Start Market ETF VTI, with expense ratio of 0.03%. A total market index fund is another staple of anyone's portfolio. The investment seeks to track the total return of the entire US stock market, as measured by the Dow Jones US Total Stock Market Index. You're essentially mimicking the growth in buying a piece of every company in the United States. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 2000, it's generated about 8% return per year and almost 18% in the past 5 years. Historic return and historic risk is above average. 
Vanguard classifies this fund as a moderate to aggressive holding, ideal for long-term investors. Invested style is categorized as large cap blend in the top 10 holdings of the same as seen in the Vanguard S&P 500 index, but with a lower percentage allocation in its top 10 holdings, and spread out over more companies. Let's move to number 4, the Vanguard Total International Stock Market Index Fund, Admiral Shares, VTIAX, with an expense ratio of 0.11%, which is also available as the Vanguard Total International Stock Market ETF. VSUS with an expense ratio of 0.08% for exposure to international companies. While I have tremendous faith in the growth of US companies, many companies around the world have fantastic companies. This investment seeks to track the performance of a benchmark index that measures the total return of large publicly traded non-US companies from countries with developed equity markets outside the United States. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 2010 has generated over a 6% annualized return and over 11% in the past 5 years. Historic return and risk is average. The investment style is categorized as large cap blend and a risk potential of 5, meaning Vanguard classifies this fund as an aggressive holding, ideal for long-term investors. Top 10 holdings include companies such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, Tencent, Samsung, Alibaba, Nestle, ASML Holding, Roche, Toyota, Louis Vuitton, and Novartis. When we look into which regions of the world the equities are from, we see about 39% of the equity is from Europe, 25% from emerging markets, 27% from Pacific Asia, and 6% from North America. Finally, we get to number 5. We have the Bond Index Fund. For the more conservative investor, or if you want to reduce the volatility of your portfolio. The Vanguard Total Bond Admiral Shares VBTLX, with an expense ratio of 0.05%, which is also available as the Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, BND, with an expense ratio of 0.035%, can be considered for your portfolio. It also has a current distribution yield of around 1.2%. When we look at the returns since its inception in 2001, it's generated over 4% returns per year and around 3% in the past 5 years. Again, to reiterate, while past performance does not guarantee future results, the historic return is average and historic risk is low. Vanguard categorizes the investment style as intermediate term bond with a risk potential of 2, meaning Vanguard classifies this fund as a conservative to moderate holding appropriate for medium-term investment horizons of 4-10 to 10 years. Top issuers include US government bonds and highly graded bonds of triple B up to triple A bonds and others. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos delivered to you. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and you guys have a great one.